solve linear absolute value equations. So in solving equations with absolute value, we can end up with more than one possible answer. This is because what is in the absolute value can either be negative or positive. So we must account for both possibilities when so solving equations. Or we have to consider two possi possibilities, both the positive and negative. Say, for example, here. What is the value of x when we're given absolute value of x equals 7? So to solve this, um, we can get rid of the absolute value sign. So x can either be equal to 7 or x equals negative 7. And let's try another example here. Let's say we're given 5 plus absolute value of x equals 8. So how are we going to solve this? We notice that the absolute value here is not alone. So we have to subtract negative fi uh, ne uh, 5 from both sides. So that would be 5 plus absolute value equals 8. So minus 5 minus 5. This cancels out, It'll be 0. So we are left with absolute value of x equals 3. So x here could either be 3 or x equals negative 3. So you take note that we never combine what is inside the absolute value with what is outside the absolute value. Say, for example, okay, this problem here. Say we're given negative 4 times the absolute value of x equals negative 20. So how are we going to solve that? We don't um, distribute negative 4 to x here because x is inside the absolute value symbol. So all we have to do is we divide both sides by negative 4. Okay. That cancels out. So we are left with absolute value of x equals 5. So the value of our x could either be positive 5 or x equals negative 5. 5. So let's try some more problems here. Let's say, let's say um, we're given absolute value of absolute value of 2x minus 1 equals 7. So this one, we can write this as 2x minus 1 equals 7 or 2x minus 1 equals negative 7. Then we can solve for x from both of these uh, the expressions. So 2x equals 7 plus 1 because we, we move negative 1 here to the right side. So 2x is equal to 8. Then divide both sides by the coefficient of x. Then x is equal to 4. And then the other one would be 2x equals negative 7 plus 1. So 2x is equal to negative 6 divided by 2. Then x is equal to negative 3. So the solution for this problem, uh, the solutions are x equals 4 and x equals negative 3. So let's try another one. Okay, what if we're given this problem? So 2 minus 4 absolute value of 2x plus 3 equals negative 18. So here the absolute value again is not alone. 
So we subtract um, 2 from both sides to simplify this. So we subtract 2. This cancels out. So we are left here with negative 4 to x plus 3 equals negative 20. Then we divide both sides by negative 4. Again, we cannot um, combine any terms to the terms or expressions inside the absolute value. So we are left here with 2x plus 3 equals 5. Then we can simplify this one. So we can write this as either 2x plus 3 equals 5 or 2x plus 3 equals negative 5. So solving for x here, there will be 2x equals 5 minus 3. So 2x is equal to 2. Then our x is equal to 1. Then the other one is I'll just write here. Um, 2x equals negative 5 minus 3. So it will be 2x equals negative 8 divided by 2. So our x would be negative 6. So that is negative 6. So our solutions would be 1 would be, I know, 4, negative 4. 1 and negative 4. Okay. So for practice problems, I'll write here practice problems. So you can try solving these problems here. Okay. So you can practice. You can try, let's say, absolute value of 3 minus x equals 6 or absolute value of d equals 5, then 8, absolute value of x plus 7 minus 3 equals 5. 